Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another beautiful day, sun's shining again. Let's obviously enjoy it whilst we can. So today I'm gonna to focus on people that generally come over the top, hit the ball left or right, or hit the ball straight left, and just some very simple drills that you can work on in your garden. You don't even need a golf ball to work on these guys, so um, no excuses for not doing these. Um, what we generally find with people that hit the ball left or right, that obviously leads to generally a weak flight, a loss of distance, um, and a lot of the time, a lot of control too. So what we would generally see um, with people that do this is from the top of the swing, they start the swing down with the upper body, get the club cast in or coming outside the line, and then coming across the ball and generally compensating by keeping the club face open whilst they do it. So I'm going to just give you three very easy drills to try and um, try and fix that issue a little bit. So number one, what, I'll, what I want you to always be aware of is whenever we're doing drills, make sure that you um, get into your normal golf posture. I think that's really important, okay? So you're not going to get the same feeling if you stand up to it upright. So just always try and make sure that you're in your golf posture. So. Drill number one, very simple. You can use a golf club. Uh, I'd recommend a sort of longer iron, five, four iron, five iron, something like that. Go into golf posture. Stretch your left arm out in front of you, okay? And then I just want you to make some nice steady swings to the top and then keep that arm inside the golf club that's obviously outstretched underneath your left hand, okay? So take it to the top, back down and underneath the shaft, okay? So what you would see normally is that if you come over the top, you're going to be hitting this shaft on the downswing. So that's drill number one. Drill number two, again, in golf posture, what I want you to do is I just want you to cross your hands in front of your body, okay? What we're going to do from here is we're going to pull the, the left arm across the chest, okay? And then we're going to keep that right hand, the other side of the left hand, and we're going to feel that that left arm stays connected to the chest, okay? So that will give you a great sensation of that pressure between the arms and the body, and then ultimately the club when you get hold of it. So just in this angle, we're gonna cross the arms, okay? We're gonna push away with that, using that right hand, okay? The left arm stays nice and connected to the chest, and then we're gonna pull it back down the chest, okay? So you can see I've almost got these sort of butterfly hands coming into the golf ball, okay? So a great way to feel that you get this right elbow closer to you on the downswing, which is ultimately the the move that we're trying to make to try and get that club a little bit more on the inside. And then drill number three, again, back to the golf club. Again, into golf posture. We're gonna stay nice and square. And then what I want you to do is I want you just to take a slight step forward with your left foot and a slight step back with your right foot, okay? So suddenly the alignment of the feet looks very closed. Try to keep your shoulders square, but try and get that feeling of all this space here that we now have, okay? If the stance is square, we don't have as much space, but if we can take this foot back, but make sure you keep your shoulders square, okay? Suddenly we have all this space to swing these arms into. Again, getting that connection between right elbow and body to keep that club coming from the inside. So three great drills that you can do in your guard that really help you to get a feeling of that, more of an, a, a neutral path or a slightly in to out path. Um, work hard on it, guys. As always, please stay safe, and we'll see you next time.